Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with some sweet tips for flying in GOFS. So let's get cracking. So I am back at my main PC, and it's a gaming PC from CyberPower. So I want to make sure I have the best graphics setup when I'm playing GOFS. So the first thing I did was I installed the Opera browser, not Opera GX, just Opera. And then I set up Opera to run with my NVIDIA driver. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link up in the cards above so that you can get to it. But once you've got that, if you hit debug info, you'll see that it is using the correct renderer for GOFS. So the next thing I want to do is I want to have all the community contributed aircraft. So friends, all we do is go under multiplayer and we need to show community contributed models. When you're done with that, if you hit save and close, now I've got this awesome plane, but if I go up to the word aircraft, now at the very top, there is a community contributed option. Now it shows who was making them and it gives you all these awesome choices. So I'm gonna click on one of these and then give it time to render. Notice it always takes time there. You can see the controls coming first. And then here is that sweet aircraft. So let's hit play and see how this little guy flies. Nine to turn on my throttle. And there you go. We are flying with a totally awesome community contributed aircraft. How cool is that? The engine is the center of it. There are so many of these to explore. It's just a fun way to continue to enjoy flying and try out some different aircraft. This is such a different feeling to control compared to that Pitts aircraft I've been flying. There's a big jet coming in up above too. That's kind of sweet. I am going to see what views come with these because everyone is built different. Uh, yes, it does have that view. Nice. Let's see if it's got something from the tail. Yes, it does. That is so cool to be able to check out your aircraft from every angle. So let's pause and try out another one quick. Once again, all we do is hit aircraft and up at the very top is the community contributed. Let's fly one. I saw a student building one of these in my classroom. So I think this will be a little bit cooler. All right, so there is what it looks like. I want to get the number five view. So this view is not correct. But if I hit the number four, then I'm flying behind it. Let's see how this flies. Oh, I did have to hit five to get it back. Let's click to reset, make sure my throttle is set to nine. There we go. And there we are flying the A-10 Thunderbolt. It was interesting that it came in at a different angle than I'm actually flying with. Oh, it does have that view too. Nice. Let's see if we can get inside uh, and check it out from the cockpit. Oh yes, we can. You can roll your scroll wheel back so you can see the controls better. We are flying an A-10 Thunderbolt. That is awesome. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Super simple steps so that you can get access to the community contributed aircraft. So, my friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.